A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The Church celebrates today the memorial of Saints Andrew, Kim Taegon, Paul Chong, Hasang, and Companions. Our Mass presider for today is Rev. Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Rector of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Church rejoices today as we celebrate the, uh, the memorial of great martyrs of South Korea, Saints uh, Andrew, Kim, Taegon, the first native priest of uh, Korea, and his associate Paul Chong Hasang and their companions. In the 19th century, they were several martyrs, 113 of them, who gave their life for Christ as a witness to their faith. We ask the prayers and intercession of these saints for us, for our world, especially in the midst of so many persecutions and difficulties. To celebrate worthily this Eucharist, we ask God's mercy and pardon. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world and who made the blood of the martyrs, Saint Andrew Kim Taegon and his companions, a most, most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
a reading from the beginning of the book of Ezra. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord inspired King Cyrus of Persia to issue this proclamation throughout his kingdom. By word of mouth and in writing, thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord, the God of heaven, has given to me. And he has also charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Therefore, whoever among you belongs to any part of his people, let him go up, and may his, may his God be with him. Let everyone who has survived in whatever place he may have dwelt be assisted by the people of that place with silver, gold, goods, and cattle, together with freewill offerings for the house of God in Jerusalem. Then the family heads of Judah and Benjamin, and the priests of Levites, everyone that is whom God had inspired to do so, prepared to go up to build the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. All their neighbors give them in help in every way, with silver, gold, goods, and cattle, and with many precious gifts beside all their free will offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done marvels for us. The Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Then they say among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done marvels for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one lights a lamp, con conceals it with a vessel, or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand, so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care when then how you hear. To anyone who has more, more will be given. 
and from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day to everyone and all those who are uh, with us in this uh, worship at the Shrine of Jesus Divine Word, following us through the live streaming. Again, I would like to focus this uh, reflection on the uh, first reading. For the next three weeks, we will be uh, hearing, we'll be taking the readings from the first readings from the so called uh, group of books of the Old Testament called the post exilic period, the books of uh, Ezra. Nehemiah, Haggai, Zechariah, Baruch, Jonah, Malachi, and Joel. According to biblical experts, that the, these books of the Old Testament have a common concern. And one of them is the temple in Jerusalem the central shrine of Judaism. While other writings like that of the Ecclesiastes, Sirach, Wisdom, etc. The so-called uh, Wisdom books pay little attention to these ritual matters. But the more uh, nationalistic Jews who returned from exile in Babylon to resettle in uh, Israel place a high value on the rebuilding of their national shrine, meaning the Temple of Jerusalem. This is known as uh, in the biblical history as the Second Temple Period. The Book of Ezra with that of Nehemiah constitutes an historical and theological witness of that period of the history of the, the people of God, the so-called post-exilic Babylonian Babylon, which opened with the edict of the uh, the king at that time, Cyrus, that was around 538 BC. This Persian king permitted Israel to return to their land that was abandoned some decades before with the destruction of, the, of Jerusalem by the Babylonians whose leader that time was Nabucodonosor. And the book of Ezra opens with this citation of this edict of Cyrus and with the description of this new exodus that brings the Hebrew people from the rivers of Babylon where they wept, you know, where they were exiled and brought back to the holy city reduced already to ruins and the aim of their repatriation is this to reconstruct the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem an anonymous prophet whose work has entered into the book of uh, Isaiah thus it is called by experts as the second Isaiah will sing about this return as a joyful procession guided by God himself who after having chosen his Messiah that is the consecrated Cyrus will be preoccupied in opening a new chapter 
of these people's lives. The flower of hope should not be hurried, as one author said, even when it is most harsh in the desert. Indeed, God's wisdom and ways are not our ways and cannot be fathomed. God used the unlikely person like Cyrus, the ruler of the occupying forces, to restore his people to their land. God writes straight with crooked lines, they would say. The Lord is inviting us to reaffirm our trust in him. He knows what is best for us. And that is, I think, one of the beautiful messages of this event in the life of the people of God. That in the midst of uncertainties, difficulties, God acts, and at times His ways we cannot fully understand but God uses people events things to bring us his message may we have the capacity to recognize his hand guiding us even in difficult moments in the midst of difficulties. As uh, the beautiful line from the letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, we know that all that happens to us is working for our good if we love God and are fitting into His plans. We as God's Spirit to help us recognize His hand working in our lives. And uh, as the author would say, the flower of hope should not be hurried, even when it is most harsh in the desert. May we continue to trust in Him especially in these moments of difficulties. Amen. Let us pray to God the Father that the light of His Son, Jesus Christ, may bring hope and salvation to all. For every prayer, let our response be May our lives glorify you, O Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord. That the people of God may be like a great light shining in the darkness by their efforts in building a better world. We pray. May our, may our lives glorify you, O Lord. That leaders of nations may bring rays of hope to those who suffer by giving justice to the oppressed and dignity to every human person, we pray. May, may our lives glorify you, O Lord. Lord. That parents may be like light on a mountain top, guiding their children to God's love by their way of life, we pray. May, may our lives glorify you, O Lord. That the sick, the depressed, and the heartbroken may discover the light of Christ in their suffering, we pray. May, may our, our lives, lives glorify you, O Lord. For the medical experts, scientists, and researchers, that they may be able to continue to develop more effective and affordable vaccines for everyone as soon as possible, so that everyone may be protected against contracting the virus, while those who are already infected will be healed and there will be no more further transmission, we pray. 
May our lives glorify you, O Lord, that the faithful departed may receive perpetual light, happiness, and eternal rest, we pray. May your may lives our glorify, glorify you, O Lord. God, our Father, give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of others and be a lamp shining on them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that these our sacrifice, our prayers, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, the fund of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those we remember in this Holy Mass. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Andrew and Companions, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence and trust, we now address our Heavenly Father with the prayer our Lord himself taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer to one another christ's peace peace be with you Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I'm worthy, not worthy that, that you should enter, enter my under my roof, but only say, but the, only word say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Let us pray. Nourish with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs. We humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we, we come, come to you in our, in our need, need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. 
We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from a disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest for those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Andrew and Companion, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Frey Nademets, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, your loved ones, your work and activities, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy, and the Holy spirit. spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.